Hi everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. Uh, this is a follow-up message from my previous congratulatory um, a recording after the completion of your alternative assessments. The purpose of this talk is to inform you of the initial framework uh, for the delivery of the Sport and Exercise Science programme here at Swansea uh, next year. As a result of the current global situation, the Sport and Exercise Science portfolio has been in, dis in discussion as to how best to deliver the degree. We're currently working hard on the teaching and assessment related components of the programme and hope to update you with those developments in the next update in July. Your input is really important in this process so please do let us know if you would like to be on the student task force and a big thank you for those that have already volunteered. In terms of the, the uh, slide that you should now see in front of you, uh, this is the new overview of what third year um, will look like um, f for you next year. Um, I've tried to break this down in, in as simple a way as possible by uh, articulating the things that have changed and the things that have stayed the same. So starting off with the things that have remained similar, uh, all modules that are currently available will be running next year. We will continue with the uh, one compulsory module which we have in the degree program in the final year and that's SR311, uh, the dissertation project which is uh, the largest module um, and covers many different facets and hopefully uh, aligns with a lot of your areas of interest um, with the dissertation titles that you've already selected. The things that have uh, changed are the options that are available to you. Previous students were asked to uh, maintain an equal split in optional modules between first and second semester such that they were asked to choose two modules from four in semester one and um, two uh, modules from three in semester two. We've decided to m remove the requirement of that semesterized approach to optional modules and now uh, all of those optional modules will span both semester one and semester two. Now there's a large number of considerations that have taken place um, to come to this decision uh, but we hope this framework enables you to engage with the full range of teaching activities staff have planned within each module and allows us to respond appropriately to any changes in the global situation. It also helps us maintain the quality of the degree programme whilst adhering to the new health and safety requirements that we now need to meet. It also helps us address some of the um, student feedback that we've received in previous years by giving you a greater variety of options in your final year and not restricting you in that semesterized approach. In terms of things that you uh, are encouraged to do uh, just to help in this decision making process is do go ahead and read the module descriptors that are located in the handbook. Uh, please do feel free to contact staff uh, just in case you have additional questions uh, over the modules and that can be your academic mentor or the module leader that you will see in the handbook itself. In terms of um, some key factors in that decision making process uh, the requirement of prerequisites st will still apply this year and, and that is no change to previous years um, and I have just highlighted in uh, the slide itself uh, what those prerequisites are. So you won't be able to choose um, the third year module if you haven't completed that prerequisite at second year. So in this example, SR334 is Sport and Exercise Physiology and the prerequisite is SR253 Exercise Physiology in second year. SR305 is Sports Biomechanics and the prerequisite for this module is SR258 and that's Biomechanics in second year. And SR326 is Applied Sports Psychology and the prerequisite is the, sports, uh, is the Psychology module in second year, SR260. So in terms of uh, what you need to do, um, in terms of the module selection itself, this can be updated via your student record, which is located on the internet. Um, that is currently open based upon the previous um, sort of plan for next year. So what we're going to be doing is um, closing, making the necessary adjustments uh, to that over the next week or so, such that the new uh, scheme and framework will be available uh, for your uh, selection or input between the 1st of July and there's a deadline of the 31st of July to make that those decisions. So hopefully that one month period gives you enough time to uh, revisit the necessary material, contact staff where necessary and get those um, module selections completed online. 
If you are interested in um, taking part in the student task group, uh, please do uh, feel free to contact either myself or Dr. Laura Mason and we'll uh, add you to the, the list of students already um, volunteered for that and hopefully you have some really um, nice and important input to help shape uh, the degree uh, for the rest of your cohort in the, in the next academic year. Until then, hopefully, uh, sorry, until my next update, I hope you have a, a nice, enjoyable summer uh, and I'll speak to you soon.